All right, all of yesterday's attention was spent on that thing. Today's attention, we're gonna spend it on this. And we're gonna do something with it that maybe, well, maybe we thought would never happen. I don't know what's come over me, but uh, putting flat bars on the Grouch Rock Hopper, well, well, it's just been burning in my brain. I don't know why I wanna put flat bars on it, but I do. But in typical Eric Spinney spin dat fashion, I don't wanna spend any money to do it. So my uh, bent and then bent back spank spoon blue handlebars, uh, 729 millimeters wide. These are gonna be the candidate for the swap and a couple uh, borrowed cantilever compatible brake levers. And uh, we're off to the races, if you will, the 90s races. Uh, it's gonna become a little more modern -y 90s mountain bike in the next six minutes. And because it should be quick and relatively painless, um, I'm thinking we'll probably be able to ride it today as well. part about having a mountain bike shifter set up to a road derailleur is two barrel adjusters. It's really helpful, especially when uh, you're like really bad at bike mechanics like I am. Now, that should shift. <laughs> and that's the end of that statement. <laughs> Everybody always likes to ask, why do you use the, uh, the like predetermined cantilever alignment straddle cables. It's because they're just easy. They're like, they take like no effort to put together. I just, you throw the cable through them. Everything is uh, determined for you. I don't need to even think, and I don't feel like thinking. I bet that's gonna work better than the drop bar levers did. This is, uh, this is five millimeter shift cable housing, by the way. I've decided against the crappy grips. I've stole the grips off of the work truck. Okay, let's go play. So I've decided for uh, one reason or another that coming out here to Whopper made the most sense because it's an old school trail that has been here forever, has lots of roots. And considering this trail's history, I feel like probably people have ridden bikes like this in here. But to get the full experience of a fully rigid steel, one inch threaded mountain bike, it just felt right. Okay, I have my doubts I'm gonna make it up this climb, but here's my best, best, best shot. Pretty good. There's a dog out here. It's so light, it just goes over everything. It's sweet. So here's part of the trail that I'm actually afraid of on like some good days, just going down this. It actually seems like the line choices has changed a little bit. It used to be very, very much going over these tires and having to take a swooping right hand, but uh, you can kind of, you can kind of go like straight down over these routes. Um, I'm kind of afraid of it on the best of days, on the best of bikes. I guess I'll try it on this. <laughs> it wasn't too bad. Okay, and after that, 
to come in through here. This is Scotch on the Rocks. Colin and I used to ride in here quite frequently. And I don't know why we stopped. Probably because of me. Uh, everything's a feature on this. Probably because of me. Uh, everything's a feature on this. There's a big rock roll here that I'm definitely going to ride. It's a shame because I know the GoPro is not doing it justice, but this little roll here, it's its pretty fun. Um, definitely taller than me. I'm about six foot tall. It's probably like seven and a half or eight foot rock roll. Seats all the way down. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? There's like a ledge ride here too. I'm gonna do it. Cool line. I got this shot from this camera hanging in the street. There we go. There we go. It's so good on stuff like this. So good. Oops, a little bit of blood. It looks like there's another rock roll right here. Eww. I don't know. The line is over that rock, which might be a challenge, but I'm willing to do it. And I'm here, so. Eww. I'm here, so. Eww. Everything is terrifying. It's so fun. <laughs> okay, this trail's almost done. Man, it would be fun to have a dropper. So this thing is way more capable than maybe I gave credit. That's not to say, like that's not me being like, retro bikes are just as good as brand new ones. That is not true. There's stuff in here that I'm like, yeah, no way. There's no way I'm doing that. But I had it in my head. I thought it would be cool to, to get like Merino to build a like 650B uh, disc brake, fully rigid bike later on. I don't think that's necessary. This thing, this thing is so light and just like, you know, for lack of a better word, just hops right over rocks. I will say it's set up with flat bars is better than the drop bars. It's, it's more fun. And the 38 tooth gearing with the 11 through to 42, it's also better. I can't believe I didn't get flat. <laughs> 